Hi, my name is Leighton Lawhead and this is your Two Minute Morning. Welcome to the Two Minute Morning, fast-paced news for the fast-paced student. Today's weather will be mostly sunny with a high of 45 and a low of 28. Following National Signing Day yesterday, Ole Miss football signed 22 new prospects to the 2021 team. These prospects include eight defensive backs and three defensive linemen. Head coach of the Rebels, Lane Kiffin, said the main focus going into the offseason was to improve the secondary and defensive front that lacked depth. The Rebels not only capitalized on defensive recruits, but also flipped four-star quarterback Luke Altmaier and four-star cornerback Markavius Brown. Mr. Hamilton sent a reminder to students to stay home from school if experiencing COVID symptoms. The reminder listed symptoms such as fever, chills, and nausea as grounds for absence. As we near winter break, numbers here at OHS are rising, so be sure to stay safe and stay healthy. Recently, two Jackson Public Schools named after Confederate soldiers changed their names to honor civil rights leaders. The schools were formerly named Robert E. Lee Elementary in Power, Academic, and Performing Arts. Both have changed their names following the recent call for civil improvement in Mississippi. Robert E. Lee will now change its name to honor Drs. Aaron and Ollie Shirley, and Power will honor Ida B. Wells. At 5, the Board of Trustees will hold a meeting at the Middle School Lecture Center. The meeting will be live streamed on NFHS Network and will remain on the site on demand if you miss it. That's all the time we have for today's show. I'm Leighton Lawhead, and we'll see you tomorrow.